In this video, we're going to look at how to create some threads. And we're going to do that with one of the workbenches. It's called Fastener's Workbench. If you don't already have it, what you're going to need to do is go to the Add-on Manager. And, okay, when you go to the Add-on Manager, you can select from up here, it may be on macros, so you want to make sure it's on workbenches. So show add-ons containing workbenches. And then the one you're looking for is called fasteners. And the fasteners are right there. So fast fasteners, I already have it installed. What you're going to do is select it and then install it. And you'll be good to go. So let's move on. For this quick demonstration, I'm going to start out in part design as I always do. And we're going to create a new file. And we're going to create a part. We're going to create a body. And then we're going to create a sketch. We'll create that sketch in the XY plane. And I'm just going to draw a centered rectangle. So remember, you've got this new option in this version. It's the centered rectangle. My version of FreeCAD is 0.20.1. And this centered rectangle works this way. You just click on center, and it basically pops in a rectangle that's centered. Now what I'm going to do is just give that a couple of dimensions just to constrain it. I don't actually care what the dimensions are right now. Say OK, and then I'm going to pad that. So we have a pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a through hole with a screw thread in it. To do that, we just add a screw thread from the fasteners workbench. I'm going to go here, and this is a representation of a tap. So here it's an M6 by 20 um, thread. I'm going to position that thread where I want it to be. So right now it's sitting. If we just go in here is sitting right on this edge and it's in the middle so we can locate it wherever we want to by just using this placement and what we're going to do is we're going to position it in the z-axis we're going to bring it up so it'll become a through hole so i don't mind how long it is as long as it goes all the way through that uh, 10 millimeter and then i'm going to move it in the x direction i'm actually going to move it forward this way I want to go about 15, 20, let's say 25. And in the Y direction, I'm going to move it 15. And there we have it. Now to make that a through hole, we need to do a Boolean operation where we have this pad and we remove this screw thread. So what I'm going to do is I will highlight the screw thread. I'll go back into part design. I hit the Boolean operation and you can see the screw thread is already selected. Then I just say cut, say OK. And now I have a screw thread right through my pad. And I can hear you saying that doesn't look like a screw thread. Well, it doesn't because the screw thread is simplified for representation purposes by default. If I change that thread on the screw thread to true, it's going to show me the actual screw thread. So there it is. The representation being simplified just makes it a little less computer intensive. So if I had a bunch of these in there, I might want to leave them blank so that I don't have all those screw threads to compute every single time. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a thread on the on the end of this. Very much the same process. We're going to go back to the fasteners. We'll go in here and we'll pick a threaded rod. And once again, this threaded rod is an M6 by 20. I can change that right here. So if I wanted to make it an M5, let's say, now it's an M5 rod. And if I didn't want it to be 20, but I wanted it to be 25, now it's an M25. And you can see what happened is it came in right at that zero, zero point. 
So we just re we're going to place this where we want it to go. And if I look at it from the front view, I want to rotate that 90 degrees in the Y axis. So I'm going to make my Z rotation zero. I'm going to make my Y rotation one. Now I'm going to pick 90 degrees. And there it is rotated. And then I want to move. So I'm going to move my position along the X axis. Note that that's different from these numbers. So I'm on my position on the X axis and I'm going to shift that along. And I can shift it to wherever I want it to be and make it as long as I want it to be, but I'm just gonna put it there. Then I'm gonna bring it up in the Z axis. So it's just in the middle. And now if you look here, that will be a thread on the end there. And of course, the Boolean operation is exactly the same. So I just highlight this guy and I go back to my part design, hit my Boolean operation. There, my thread is in there. In this case, I want to fuse it, say OK. And the same applies to this one. It's not shown, it's shown a simplified version. It's not shown the actual thread until we switch it from false to true. And now you can see it's actually showing a thread. So that is simply how you add threads to a pad. And of course I can have multiple threads. I can have, I can change the length of these rods. So long as I don't do anything to create multiple bodies in my Boolean, um, I'll be fine. So if I wanted that to be a blind hole, I could certainly do that through just position where that threaded rod is or that, or that tap in that case. So again, um, very simple, very straightforward way to add threads without having to do a whole lot of um, modeling and design and uh, modification to pieces. These, these are already done for you, makes it absolute cake. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you would subscribe, that helps other people to see the video, makes it uh, something that I can get the word out to more people. And if you want to become a patron, you can certainly do that. You normally get early release of these videos. And uh, if you prefer just to become a channel member, you can do the same. The benefits are similar on both. So. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will see you in the next video.